EU member states unanimously agreed on a package of sanctions against Russia in response to Putin's decisions to unilaterally recognize the separatist regions of eastern Ukraine, Donetsk and Lugansk as independent, further ratcheting up tensions and watering down any diplomatic efforts of de-escalation. The decision was taken in Paris during an extraordinary meeting of the EU foreign ministers and it was tougher than previously expected. The EU is sanctioning 351 members of Duma that voted in favor of the separatist region's recognition and 27 individuals and the entities accused of destabilizing Ukraine. The sanctions also include restrictions on Russian banks and government bodies and limit their access to the EU's financial markets and block Russia's sovereign debt. Trade between EU countries and the breakaway regions will also be severely cut off. The EU's top diplomat, however, warned that the EU is prepared to go beyond that as there are still pending issues. We will continue vigilant. The consensus, the unanimity reached today doesn't imply that we are at the end of the story. We keep ammunition in our toolbox in order to continue sanctioning the Russian behavior if needed. Analysts are arguing that in order for sanctions to be effective, they should be imposed for a long time meaning even two or three years long, and target a broader range of sectors. But of course, this is costly, not only for Russia, but also for Europe itself. Um, really depend on 50%. And I think if it's a short period, um, the price is not so high. If, if it's a longer period, meaning at least through the winter of next year, the big price will be, will be gas and, you know, the lack of access to gas. And, you know, I think this is really the question. Will Europe be able to pull together to be united um, in front of um, this aggression? and be ready to respond with, with sanctions that will be very painful for Russia, but also quite painful for us Europeans. And while the EU is in constant coordination with allies in the US and NATO for the next steps, the French minister made it clear that a meeting with his Russian counterpart planned for this Friday won't take place. Aida Sánchez Alonso, Euronews, Brussels.